Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Photoshop CC 2014, I'm just going to create a triangle grid. Now, first thing to do, and I'm just going to use guides, so I'm just going to go to View, and of course you can just go for any type of uh, guide layout. I'm just going to go for a 10 by 10. Now you could go 4 by 4, whatever. I'm just going to use these points along here. So, click OK. Next thing to do. Just go over here to the pen tool and just gonna click there at the top and I'm just gonna select somewhere in the center here. So I'm just gonna go to the same point for all of the triangles I'm just gonna create. So just gonna decide to go there and it's got a snap to option as well. So view, snap and snap to guides. That's the key thing as well. Now, just gonna put it to there um, put it to there. I'm going to keep that colour there. Next thing to do, I'm just going to go down to this point, and of course you can do any position along this edge. So I'm just going to go again to this central point, click there, back up to there, and set that. Just quickly change the colour, maybe go for a green, and I'm going to avoid, now the key thing here is actually this is still selected, so you just want to avoid so I can actually just deselect it and I can just click it there, but I'm just going to avoid it. So it's just click one there, click there and go around. Basically I'm just going to go through all of the, around the whole of, now you could alternate the colors. Maybe you could go for uh, pink, green, pink, maybe black, white, black, but you can also of course use other colors. I'm going to go for different colors. So I'm just going to select that color again down to this one here up there up there and there just finish off that triangle again select another color now next thing to do I'm just going to keep consistent in terms of the edge so I'm just going to go there and there so I want there and there so I'm just going to click there back up to there and there and finish it off again change the colour. I'm going to go for say, green now and obviously I haven't created anything there so I'm just going to go that far so click there just go around the entire thing and like I say you just close that part so I'm just going to go for a red pink actually more pink and go to the far edge click there and again, it's all snap into this nice grid that's available there. There you go for blue. Now, what I want to do, I want to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to go over there. So you can see this, this is the whole point of the guides. So you can just go over to that point, click there, start there, go right to the edge there, close it off again. It's time to go for a red. Do the same, so it's there, there, and so I can start there. Close it off. Go for a different color again, maybe blue or one that I haven't used or yellow. Now that's at the top, so just select there, there, there. Right, so you've actually got, obviously you can see the next thing to do is I'm just going to go up this guide to make sure so I'm just there, so that click there, and set that to another colour, I haven't used, mm, used that one, so go with that one, and finally, just obviously it's uh, just to fill the tarting up, again to the centre, and Go across there, right? And I'm going to go for a different color, okay? Right, of course, you could use any type of color. You could go maybe light blues, all blues, all red, so and so on. Now, once you've actually got that defined, now you can just actually just flatten it. I'm just going to go flatten image, and I can define that as a pattern. So click OK. Now, I'll just quickly show you that pattern. 
new for layer pattern click OK and 50 and so on and so on so you can see that there's not any sort of like disjointed obviously the colors change but it's still sort of going nicely across nicely up that way and of course it's 25 so on and so on right next thing to do you can actually what you can do decide that you don't want to flatten it and I'm just going to go back again you can actually just go there select that the direct selection tool and I can just select that central point there and you can just move the point the origin point around so you don't have to so you can just go there decide right save that as a pattern define as pattern and so on and so on now another thing you can do of course you can actually just go to image adjustments and invert and define that as a pattern as well click OK or maybe image adjustments and photo filter and just change that click OK and define that as again as a button now also what you can do once you've done that you can also now it's flattened so <clears throat> just make certain I can go duplicate layer click OK and just rotate that pattern also save that as a pattern as well but what you can also do go over here to layers and blending modes darken and you can create sort of fragmented designs just use lighten overlay and flatten that again define as pattern click OK and so on and you can see the same sort of thing basically you can create some very very interesting super colorful triangular themed patterns using this sort of technique hope you found this of interest